When Careway Hospital closed, it had the largest psych ward in Birmingham. Most mental health hospitals across the state have closed as people are no longer sent off and institutionalized for life. Most people in Alabama now go to one of 26 treatment centers in their community. A 1971 lawsuit sparked the change nationwide, and the man who fought for patient civil rights lived here in Alabama. Bryce Hospital was supposed to be a model for mental health care, but according to the Bryce Hospital Preservation Project, two former superintendents referred to it as a, quote, dumping ground. By the 1960s, more than 5,000 patients were institutionalized. The state built it for 250. Many spent their lives there and remain in unmarked graves. The stories of neglect circulated. When I did get on campus, I was extremely frightened. Um, I was afraid of everybody. I didn't understand uh, mental illness. By the time Sheila Penn arrived at Bryce as a nurse, a former patient was already fighting the system in court. The lawsuit led to federal mandates creating a standard of care and patient rights. Patients became decision makers. We don't believe in housing patients. Penn is now the hospital's director. She took us through the new 268 bed hospital, which opened this summer. It includes a statue fountains and stained glass from the old hospital. The area dubbed Bryce Town reflects the shift in care with a church, barber shop, clothing store, bank and post office. We do have some uh, services here in Bryce Town that mimics the community and that's what we want patients to come in and feel like they are a part of a community. Their treatment plan often includes medication therapy and even this. Everything that you would do in an apartment, it's here. They, yes, yeah, life good. skills. The state estimate 98% of people with mental illness are actually living independently and treated at community mental health centers. Former state mental health director Dr. Timothy Stone to help with the transition. He now treats patients at Chilton Shelby Mental Health Center. We try to handle it for the most part though in the context of their lives so that they don't have to disrupt everything. They just need some support, they need some help. What sort of problems you've been having? But Stone admits a mental illness diagnosis can be difficult. You get five psychiatrists in a room seeing a patient, you could quite possibly get five different diagnoses. <laughs> it's not an exact thing. Stone says treatment takes a holistic approach, caring for the person, not the exact diagnosis. He's a firm believer of a patient's right to make his or her own decision. Sometimes folks just won't take their medications or they go out and they do drugs. We live in a free society. People can choose not to take their medication. Some of those people end up in a hospital like Bryce to recover. Like any other recovery, it's a progression from the past to the present to the future. And this journey enables patients to recover and live their own lives. It's a continuum. It does, just because you come to Bryce, the community has to remain involved. If you need help, your primary care doctor or community mental health center is a good place to start. The centers can provide treatment and support. To learn more about the signs of mental illness or to find help, just head over to our website at abc3340.com. Nora Gathings, ABC 3340.